This is Lake Malawi, Africa. Malawi is an English speaking country. This lake is 11,000 square miles. Now, people that do videos like this, we get asked all the time how much does it cost to retire here? Or how much does it cost to live there? The actual cost of living is going to depend on you no matter where you live. I mean, if you want to drive a Rolls Royce, then it's going to cost a lot of money to live. It doesn't make any difference where it is. But I've been all over the world, and I'm telling you, this is one of the best places, the cheapest places to live on the planet, especially if you want to retire. This is Conde Beach Resort in Nkata Bay, Malawi. This is uh, what I would call a mid-range resort. There's some more expensive and there's a lot of them a lot less expensive. And this one, I mean, if you were retired, you could come here and get a uh, cabin on the beach long term for $10 a day. That's $300 a month. They have a restaurant here. You can eat. There's a, you know, if you want things to do on the weekends, you can go out on the lake on a boat. You can go a few miles, go on a safari. You can see lions and elephants. You can go into town and see a, go to a nightclub. I mean, there's plenty of things to do if that's what you want. But this particular place is one of my favorites because of the fact that it's so cheap to come here. Now you can come and live with a native family in Malawi, just move right into their house with them. Um, if you want to live primitive like they do, and you want to eat food cooked on an open fire, and you want to sleep on a mat on the floor, you could real easily live here for $2 a day. If you want a maid, that's another dollar a day. A full-time maid. You can get a personal assistant, you know, if you have uh, physical problems, you need help taking a shower, getting dressed, you need help getting around, things like that. A dollar, dollar fifty a day, you can get somebody educated and experienced. Uh, places like this in this area are very, very common. They're very easy to find. I'm going to show you a little closer some of the amenities of this particular resort, but it'll give you kind of an idea. You can get the best steak dinner that you ever had right here at this resort for 6,000 Malawi Kwacha, which is about eight bucks. You can come sit at the bar, watch football, eat and drink all day and all night for about $10. Now it's early morning here, so there aren't very many people on the beach, but that's why I chose this time of day. I didn't want a whole lot of distractions. This cabin here, cabin number 12, for instance. It's $15 a night. Long term, $10. So that's $300 a month. And you're literally right on the beach. I mean, this is your view you'd wake up to every morning. It never gets cold here. About 60, 55 is as cold as it ever gets, as it's ever been. You got beautiful beaches, nice people, beautiful scenery. 
There's fruit trees literally everywhere. There are other parts of this same beach where the hotels are three to five dollars a night. So a couple hundred dollars a month would be plenty enough to live on. For instance, if you wanted to buy uh, bananas or something, uh, mangoes, papayas, you know, you're talking about 10 or 15 cents each for this kind of thing. And everything here, of course, is fresh and organic. The reason it's organic is because the people growing it can't afford to buy fertilizers. So everything is organic. That's just the way it is. Now these stone buildings, they're a little higher price. They're about $20, $22, something like that long term. That's one of the places where people hang out at night. Got a bunch of people camping over there in tents. Some people like to do that. I think that's $7 a night, $5 a night long term. There's an app if you uh, are interested in staying here, living in Africa. There's an app you can get for your phone called WhatsApp. And people use it here all the time to communicate with people in the States or UK or wherever. And uh, uh, the communication itself is free. You just pay for your airtime. And people here generally spend about 15 or 20 cents for a uh, SIM card for their phone, a load. And, you know, that'll last them all day. It depends on who you want to talk to and for how long, of course. But um, a couple of dollars a week is all anybody's going to need for phone minutes. I mean, you could hang out here in the hammock all day and watch the waves. You can go out on a boat. You can do anything you want to do. And your typical social security in the U.S. is over $1,000 a month. And uh, that's going to set you up fine here. And then some. You could live really comfortably and put three or $400 a month in the bank. Now the American things... American food especially that comes from the US is of course expensive because it has to be shipped 8,000 miles over here and the people selling it need to make money on it. So when you go to a store here and you buy actual American products they are high. They are expensive. They're more expensive than they would be in the US. But there aren't very many things that you really need. Uh, about the only things that we buy is uh, we buy American uh, jam, jelly for our bread, and we buy uh, American ketchup and uh, sometimes salad dressing. But pretty much that's it. I mean, they have ice cream here. They have uh, about anything you can possibly imagine. They don't sell a lot of stuff in cans because people here don't want it in cans. They want fresh stuff. The only drawback to living in this area is, of course, the mosquitoes. You do have the possibility of malaria. There are medicines you can take that prevent malaria. And so, I mean, that's what I do. So, uh, that kind of takes care of everything. 
that's really the only drawback I can think of. But like I said, this lake is 11,000 square miles. So finding a place on the beach is not difficult to do. There's a lot of land. You could buy your own piece of property if you want for uh, literally just a few thousand dollars. U.S. This is a beautiful, beautiful place. There's, uh, this is a region of Malawi where the Tonga people live and where they originated. And you see all kinds of their artwork here. Carved pieces of mahogany. That's a whole tree that's carved. This is the the restaurant and bar. But it's only 6 o'clock in the morning, so nobody's here. They don't open till 8. You can sit up here and hang out with other expats from all over the world. You can watch TV. You can eat and drink. You can do whatever you want to do. Now, we spend, for two months a year in Africa, we spend less money than we would, than we did, taking one trip to Disney World for a weekend. So, it's not that hard to figure out. One thing you do have a difficult time finding here, if you're diabetic, is diet soda. Um, there's Coca-Cola here, there's Fanta, there's all kinds of things like that. There's, of course, all kinds of beer. But, uh, just nobody in Africa watches their weight, I guess. So, uh, if you're at a big supermarket, you can occasionally find Diet Pepsi or some generic diet stuff. But you're not going to find Diet Coke. I've been looking for a month. And a couple years ago we were here, we could find it, but now it's just not available. I'm going to pause for a minute. There's the pool table, another place to hang out and have fun. I'm going to pause for a minute and show you one of the rooms. Here we are coming up to one of the rooms. You just come up these steps here. Got benches and tables 